Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Well, it's another hot day in Florida. It's Wednesday, which means it's Starbucks day. So I have my vanilla latte. It's the only one I can get now because it's the only syrup they have sugar-free. They used to have all of them sugar-free. I could have anything I wanted, even caramel. Oh, so good. Not anymore. Now, if we want something badly enough, we go on Amazon, we buy the sugar-free stuff on Amazon and just mix it in ourselves. So it's really not worth going to Starbucks and paying almost, what, $5 and change for one of these. But it's a treat. It's a treat. What else are we doing? <laughs> what else are we doing? So, let me take a sip. Yummy. Still good. Still good. So we did that. We went out to Starbucks and we went to Dollar Tree. We pick up all our dog snacks there. Grumpy likes a couple little things there. I used to buy lots of crap supplies at Dollar Tree. I don't anymore. I buy yarn now and again. But regular craft supplies, I don't buy any. Unless I plan to do a giveaway on my paper crafting side. Then I'll load up on, on things that are appropriate, especially seasonal stuff, and do a giveaway with that. So, haven't done that yet. I just started to get in there, Halloween and, and uh, fall stuff. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've been neglecting them. I'm so sad about that, but... I don't know, I've just been in a funk about making my paper crafting stuff. But I'm going to. I'm going to make some cards this week. Maybe attempt a bag or a box. I don't know. I don't know. I need to put a day aside to do that stuff. I need to do that. Ah, so, let's see. After Dollar Tree, we went to Big Bath and... Nope. Bath and Body Works. And I'll show you what I got there because it's for something I'm making for my market. And that was it. No, we went grocery shopping. Ah, I hate grocery shopping. Usually Grumpy does that on his own. But we were passing the store on the way home and he says, Oh, I just want to go in and get a couple of steaks for dinner tonight. Come in the store with me. I hate it. I have panic attacks at grocery stores. I think it's the high shelves and I get very claustrophobic. But I went in with him, well, hundred and something dollars later, we're finally leaving the store. But we needed it. We really needed it. We barely had any meat at all in the house. And so, Gotta buy food sooner or later. <laughs> Not my favorite thing to do. So we did that and now we came home. And it is hot in here. This is my craft room and it is 80 degrees. And the air conditioner is on. But this end of the house doesn't get much air. So that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Well, I made some new things for you made a couple of things that I've made before, but are different than the ones I made before. I did a test again for Snuggle Beans Crochet. I wasn't last this time, yay. Usually I'm always the last one to get, <laughs> to get mine in because I'm so slow. But I think I was the first one to start and Heather, of course, beat me out because she's so fast. So, so fast. Hers is so cute. I love it. I love it. So I'll be showing you that. And that's it. That's it. That's all I got. So I happen to be watching some shorts a few days back. And I saw a short by Rosalie's Craft Creations, I believe her channel name is. And she made a rearview mirror hanger that I thought was just adorable. I loved it. And 
I asked her if she could do a tutorial on it and she did, she did. So yesterday I made it and I love it. Isn't that too cute? You hang it from your rear view mirror. This, it's gonna be hard to do like this, but this moves up and down. Isn't that cool? So you can tighten it if you want. And then it's a ear freshener. It smells so good. And what you put in it are these little bath and body work I don't know what you call them. refills I guess they're called they sell things you can put them in and you stick them on your vents in the car I don't like putting things on the vents I've had vents break putting things on there so I don't like that idea but this on the back fits in just slides right in and of course crochet is holy so the scent comes right through and I just thought it was the cutest little thing and then I was looking at it and I said well this shape is very much like an apple so I think I could do it in red and have it look like an apple with leaves. The only issue is these refills look how tiny they are. And no, the liquid does not come out once you take this seal off. There is another thing covering that. And I don't even have mine off and I can smell it in here. This one is um, pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles, yummy. Smells really nice. I'm gonna put this one in my car, I think. I think, give it a try. Then I got this one, it's leaves and it smells very cinnamony. Then I got one other one. Because they were on sale for a whopping three for $11. It's a lot of money. This one's pumpkin apple. Pumpkin apple. Yum. Oh, I love, I love spicy smelling things. When I get my Yankee candles and stuff, I pumpkin spice, apple spice, cinnamon spice, whatever. Those are my favorites. Absolute favorites. So what do you think? Do you think this would be a good idea for markets? Now the problem being, these refills that go in there are expensive, like I showed you, three for $11. That's, by the time tax is on, it's like $4 a piece. I did find a thing on Amazon where I can get grab bags of these, so you don't know what you're going to get but it's a little bit cheaper. It turns out to be about $3 for each refill. That's a little bit better. But in order to make it worth it, I would have to charge like $7 for these. Would you like something like this for $7? I don't know, is it worth it? I just, I love them though, I love them. Let me, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think. But I don't know what else to get to put inside that you can get the um, fragrance in your car. But I had fun with that. Didn't take very long and it was a lot of fun. So you know last week I really enjoyed making those chickens. The Granny Square chickens. Well, I went right back to it and I had to do them again. I had to do them again. So I tried to find some different patterns and I didn't find a whole heck of a lot that I liked. So, but I did find one, it's called Starburst Pattern. They all are a little similar. I think this one's very similar to the um, sunflower one I showed last week, but it's cute. And I wanted to use some different colors. So this is my sunflower pattern. 
not sunflower, I'm sorry, starburst. Isn't it cute? I love the combination of purple and green. Now this looks blue on the camera, but it's not. It's a dark purple and a light green and a lavender and another darker green. So I didn't want to put a red comb on it. I thought it would look really funny. So his comb and his little tail feathers are purple. Isn't he cute? I love these things. Love these things. The only thing I'm not crazy about is putting the lining on the squares, but it, it's a must because look how big those holes are. I don't know how people do it. They just throw stuffing in them and I don't know. I could never do that. I would not be comfortable doing that and selling that to anybody. Would not have. Oops. Somebody just went for a swim. So then I found another. No, this is a pattern I made last week. African flower pattern. But I made a little bit bigger because I put an extra row around the edge. And not a row of single crochet, I put a row of double crochet, so it made it bigger than the last one. But I think these colors are real pretty too. The yellow, the blue, the green. And I put a burgundy comb on him and his little beak and a burgundy tail feathers. I don't know, I'm stuck on these guys. I think they're so cute. And he came out quite a bit bigger. I don't know, let's see. Now you can see the difference just by adding one row, how much bigger they are. So it doesn't take much to make a bigger one, one row. And then, <laughs> then I kept seeing a pattern for granny squares that I just thought was so pretty, just so pretty. And I kept looking at it and looking at it and I knew in my head since the beginning of me making these, I knew I wanted to make an all white one with a red comb and red tail feathers. Really wanted to do that. And I liked this pattern a lot, but it was a big pattern. It was a big square. And I finally just said to myself, you love the pattern. It's so pretty, go for it. Let's see how big this chicken turns out. Well, ladies and G's, I would like to introduce you to Purdue. <laughs> I named him Purdue because Purdue chickens are always the biggest chickens. Look at him, his little feathers in the back. And see, this has lots and lots of holes, but it doesn't matter because I put the white lining in there. It needs something. I was thinking of putting a little cockadoodle doo to hang down on here. Cockadoodle doo. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. You know, the roosters have it hanging down. What do you think? Should I add a little bit more red? I love him. He's like a pillow. He's so big. He's so big and squishy. So let me know. <laughs> This pattern is beautiful. It's such a pretty pattern. I would not have a problem making a blanket with this. That's how much I like it. But for my chicken, oh my gosh, he's huge. He's so big. Yeah, here's the regular size, like the ones I did last week. And this, <laughs> this is Purdue. I had them lined up on my coffee table in my family room where I crochet and three different sizes and it looked like mother hen and her, her babies. But this is Purdue. So does he need a cockadoodle do or does he need a cockadoodle do? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So cute. So, so cute. Ah, oh, so then, I made two of something and I wanted to make a third one. And I knew I wanted to make it in pink for a girl. 
and I just couldn't get myself to make it. I had the yarn out and it's sitting there staring at me for days, days. I said, oh, come on, just make it. Doesn't take you that long to make it. Just make one and get it over with. So I'm gonna show you my, what I tested last, but when I finished my test, I said, that's it. I just have to make this, get it out of the way. I don't have to make any more. I have three of them. That's enough to bring to the market, hopefully. And I started to crochet. Well, the pink, that's ballet pink, which was one of my favorite pinks by Premier, is that god-awful, god-awful Premier Puffy Chunky. Oh, it drags on the hook, it squeaks, it's horrible, horrible. But I was bound and determined to use it. I was bound and determined to use it. I still love the color. So it came out a bit bigger than the other two. I should have gotten one of the other two and brought it in here to show you. But I didn't. But then when I was finished, I decided to be daring. Now Robin from Robin Hook Crochet recently put a video up showing you how to embroider eyes. And I've been wanting to learn how to do this. Now she's, she'll be coming over again soon and she was gonna show me in person, but I watched her video and I watched that video again and said, I'm gonna give this a try. I don't think it's too bad for my first well, first time, but I think it really made a cute face on this. So I made this shock. And it's a big one because that yarn was so chunky. So big, big shock. I said shark. I put an R in it. And I embroidered her eyes. I had to put big eyes because she's so big her little mouth and her fins. And this last night, after I got done making it, it was like after one o'clock in the morning when I finished this. So I decided, uh, maybe I don't like this too much, too much black, too heavy black, I don't know. But it was too late and I was tired and I wanted to go to bed. So my plan was to get up this morning and pull that out and try to find something a little bit thinner to do that. Got an itch. So I came out, Grumpy's always up before me because I stay up so late at night. So I came out and Grumpy said, that's a shock, right? And I said, yeah, it is. He says, that is so cute. I love the face. I was shocked. <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> oh gosh, the heat's getting to me. So this pattern is by Wonder Crochet and I made a blue one and I made a gray one. So I said, why not a pink one for girls? Why not a pink one for girls? She has you um, tack down the side fins. I don't like that. I like it to look like it's swimming. So tell me what you think of my first time embroidering eyes. They're not perfect. I'll be the first one to say that. But I think she's kind of cute. Adds a lot of personality to this shock. See, that time I said shock, not shark. <laughs> um, I think she's so cute and she's squishy. She's squishy because you have to make sure the bottom stays flat so she can sit up, but there she is. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, excuse me a second. So I tested. I tested for Shannon, who is Snuggle Beans Crochet here on YouTube and on Instagram and she shows all of her dragons on Instagram. So a new one came up and I had seen a picture of it a while ago, 
um, her boy, she's got two young boys, and I asked her to make this particular dragon. I don't know if it's a character from a show or something that the kids watch. I don't, I don't know. I'm not up on that kind of stuff. But she made it, and it was awesome. This is the smallest guy that I've made from her. But he's so stinking cute. Well, it's mine's a she. Mine's a she, not a he. And let me make sure you can see everything on here. Things are good. And she is just the cutest thing. She looks dark. Let me put my light on. Ooh! That better? There. Now you can see it better. Look how cute that is. I love the ears and the big horns on this little dragon. It's not real big. I mean, this one sits in my hand. This one sits in my hand. It's got huge pink eyes, huge, these are 30 millimeter eyes. Personally, I think they're too big, but when I'm testing, I'll do what the pattern says. I'm just not used to using big eyes. I'm used to using small ones. I love how her little feet turn in. Cute, and I don't think you can see it, but on her snout, right here and right here, are two little nostrils. Very hard to see with this color. And I just made French knots for that. Oops, fuzz. And then her tail, nice long tail and her tail decoration. I love, I'm gonna hold her this way so you can see how it, it's not straight, it goes different ways. And her wings, these are different wings. I've never made these kinds of wings before. Aren't they cool? I don't have her all straight, but that's okay. And then the pink, actually the pink fur I have was from Hobie and Hobie Peacock, I believe it's called. And it was just too thin. So I had some white, oof, it's from Joanne's, can't remember the name of it. It's another thin fuzzy yarn. So I could just combine the two of them and it made it just right. Made it just thick enough, I think. Anything thicker, I'm finding fuzzies on here. Anything thicker, I think would have been too much. So my question to you is, what should I name this little sweetie? I want something different, maybe something Greek. I don't know, look at her horns, aren't they awesome? <laughs> I have so much fun playing with these things. So much fun. The, this pattern will be available on Etsy on August 21st. I'll put a link to her shop um, in the description. So August 21st, you can get this one. It's not a real big one. Definitely intermediate crocheters. This is not for beginners. I think you would have a tough time with this. Isn't that too cute? Isn't that too cute? Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon, for allowing me to test yet another one of your dragons. I don't know, this is like the sixth or seventh one. I don't, quite a few of them, quite a few. I really like this one. The more I look at her, the more I like her. I made her with velvet yarn, so she's very, very soft, but I stuffed her really, really good. So she's got some weight to her. She's got some weight to her. So give me any suggestions you may have for a name for her, okay? I would really appreciate that. And I'll put a link to Wonder Crochet's shock pattern. Yeah, it's too cute. And there is no real pattern for the chickens, just Google uh, Granny Square chickens and you should be good finding stuff on that. 
and the little pumpkin car air freshener is by Rosalie Craft Creations and I'll put a link for her in the description as well. So that's it. That was my week. Chickens and sharks and dragons and pumpkins. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you have a very, very good week. And until next time, keep crocheting.